Okay, so here's a real quick video for all the guys. I got my 8 inch AT8 IN here. Um, I went ahead and put a, an Astra Zap so I can do some solder. You can see my mount, my dysfunctional mount that's currently um, having some mechanical issues. I was able to, to get it me mechanically to align with the sun and it's tracking okay, reasonably well. I'm not really sure what's wrong with it in terms of the go-to's. Um, so that's going to be uh, taking to Celestron soon. But anyway, so I, I was uh, going to do some solar with my iPhone. As uh, people watching this video might know that I like to do that. Um, but for some reason I couldn't find the uh, iPhone um, adapter that I typically use. And so I went ahead and grabbed this uh, Revolution Imager that uh, I got from OC Telescopes. And uh, really quickly here, this is a, we're on uh, Halloween, so I'm going to be leaving soon with uh, my family to go to uh, Disneyland. But in the meantime, I was able to take a quick look at uh, this. You can see these... Uh, there's some glare here, but uh, you can see the sunspots, and um, something I wanted to get a close-up of with my phone, but uh, I, uh, here's the battery, here's all the wiring, and I was able to just take this out of the case within a couple minutes, I had it up and running, um, one thing I I did is I actually had taken off these extensions thinking that I would need a lot of in focus but I don't have the focal reducer in because I wanted a close-up of those sunspots so I'm not putting the entire sun in uh, luckily my tracking mount kept that pretty much centered and uh, it is you notice how I have two of these 35 millimeter extensions I think uh, the scope comes with, comes with one of them I'm not really too sure because I got this used but uh, you can see that uh, that I was able to focus pretty easily um, within a couple minutes. So that's the Revolution Imager for solar. Although um, we have this connected to this monitor that comes with it. Um, you know, there's an option to also go out to other devices I believe and that would be you know I could connect this to my laptop and or you know a bigger monitor if I wanted to um, I, I did not even touch anything in the settings I powered this on and I took a video because uh, you know this thing just worked so that's a that's a great thing that you know, the first thing you want to try is something bright and big, the moon and the sun. You know, of course, with the sun, you really want to have something like this um, handy. And it is, it is a nice, nice thing to be able to you know, do this during the day, get this up and running, and uh, you can actually see see the sunspots.